US Major Dailies is provided by ProQuest, and we subscribe to it as a library for students so that they have access to the full text from these five major newspapers. The Chicago Tribune, Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post. Now, several of these newspapers, such as the Chicago Tribune and the Washington Post, do not provide access to their articles online without a paid subscription. This database provides access to those without you having to pay anything because the library is subscribed for you. The New York Times, Los Angeles Times, and the Wall Street Journal may provide some content online for free, but generally their backlog of articles, their archive, will be limited to uh, paying customers only. And again, since Lincoln Land is a paying customer, you have access. You can see our logo here to the right shows that we have paid for this, subscri this subscription. If you want to know what the coverage is for each individual newspaper, you can hover on that little eye icon and it should show you what their cover coverage is. The New York Times go back, goes back to 1980, for instance, whereas the Chicago Tribune goes back to 1985. And they all go to the current uh, coverage. They'll update this very regularly, if not the day of publication, the day after publication. We have a basic search and we have an advanced search. I typically go to the advanced search because it provides a, an additional search box I can type keywords into, which helps me narrow my results. If I need a third box, I can always add a row or remove a row if I've decided I don't need three. I can tell it where to search. I have lots of different options there. So if I know the author and the title of an article, I might just search for author and then I might focus down on the uh, document title. If I don't know, I'm just looking for some articles on a topic, I would just leave that as anywhere just to get some general idea of what I'm looking at. I can also limit by publication date. So you see I have some options there for the last week, month, several months or year, and even uh, within a specific date range. Generally, these are all going to be full text. So limiting to full text doesn't do a whole lot to narrow your results. And we can also see down below, we have some different types of ways to narrow by source, source type, document type, and by language, although most of these are going to be English speaking, uh, there will be some Spanish supplements, which would be helpful if you're looking for that content. If we were to do a search for something uh, general, let's do something like bird banding. That might be an interesting subject. Let's see what's out there in newspapers on that particular topic. I have 655 results. It's going to show me the first 20. And I can sort this by relevance, which is what it defaults to, the things that are most relevant to your search will show up first, or I can do it by date. So oldest first or the newest first. Again, I can limit to full text. That shouldn't change your results too much. And then I can limit by source type. So I have more here. If I click that to expand, I can see I have newspapers, blogs, podcasts, magazines, and it tells me the number within there. So if I'm only interested in newspapers, I could do that. The magazines will be magazine supplements. So the New York Times has a supplement magazine uh, that will have glossy pictures, and you can just limit to those areas as well. You can then narrow by date. This goes by decade, so you can update to most recent items that way as well. And it should change your results by narrowing the number of items you're looking at. I can view on the abstract or the details for each article, or I can click on the full text. That will give me access to the full text of the article that I'm looking at. I have an abstract, and then this is the text below. Images typically are, are removed from these types of databases. So um, that's going to go across all sorts of different newspaper collections. They typically will strip the photographs because <clears throat> the photographer owns the image, uh, not the author of the article. If I'm interested in saving this article, it will download it as a PDF. I can cite it, I can email it, or I can print it to myself. To cite, I would click on the Cite button. It gives me some different options. You can see a lot of different formats. So if you need a particular MLA edition, you need the most recent one would be the eighth. You could click on that, and it will cite it for you. You'll probably want to tweak the, the title to be... Uh, in sort of title order or uh, for, for capitalization. This is in all caps, which isn't exactly correct. If you have any questions about how to continue to search this major dailies collection, don't hesitate to ask a librarian. We're always happy to help. Take care.